so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit your seven iron. The reason we want your seven iron is because that's gonna one gonna be our fitting heads that we have. Okay. But we can get a baseline off your seven iron. Okay. That was 181. What was the spin? Not much, or bad. So people are going to look. People are going to hear that I just hit a seven iron 181, and I've told everyone my whole life I hit it 165. Uh, your spin was low. What was it low? That was why it was at 59. So 59. We're looking. We want to have spin just below the number of the club, don't yes, we? Yes, yes. Depending on your attack angle, your launch, all those go into effect. But yes, generally a good rule of thumb is you always want to have 10 times whatever you're playing. And people might say, they say, well, Elk, if you can hit a 7 on 181, that's good, isn't it? Yes. But Of course, that is great. You know, distance is great. But is it? Our descent angle. So when we fit at Titleist, we call them our three Ds. You have distance, dispersion, and descent. If that descent angle isn't 45 or higher, we're losing our stopping power. You're losing your proximity to the hole. So we want to get that number as high as we can. Anywhere around 50 is great. Okay. What was that one then? That was 44. So, so right it was, below it. It was not bad. Not bad, but we, you know, again, we're getting picky. We want to get that number a little bit higher. That was nice too. These are these. They, they got nothing in the face there. Yeah, look, let's just say, okay, now look. We can look at these numbers and see that. Look, you're getting that distance. What, what was? So now you. That grid went down. Yeah, thank you. So you're getting the 184 yards. You're getting 196 total. Your ball speed is great. Your spin is down. Your launch is down slightly, but your landing angle is 43 degrees. So you're just. not getting that that stopping power you want. So yeah, distance is great to a certain extent, but if you can't stop it and get down the hole closer, yeah. then it's gonna affect you. So what we have now is this is the T100. So this is the number one played tour iron, uh, 16 out of the last 17 years on tour. Is this the one that Jordan just moved to? In that the, is, that the is. the Open Championship? Yep. So you're gonna get, with this iron, what they've done is they've added a little bit more bounce to the toe, taken a little away from the heel, they've shaved it, shaved it down, and it's all about turf interaction. So hey, the two players wanted this to go through the turf quicker. Faster. It's all about being faster. So the turf. when you say faster, they took away some metal? Yeah, so they actually worked with Voki. So just how you say you love your Voki wedges through the turf, um, they worked with Voki to work on the sole to get it to where they want to react. So a tour player, is it actually faster through the turf or feels faster? It is faster through the turf. Yeah. It will feel faster. It will perform better. So this is... This is going to be an MB iron. It is going to look, feel, and perform like an MB, but you're gonna get the forgiveness of a T100. I bet the spin was up 6,500. That was 62. That's the first one in the sixes. Distance 75? Yep. Yeah. You may say, well, it, factually, that is a lot shorter than my PXG, but my PXG's kind of out of control. Yeah, it's so a, with Tylus, we're all about precision. Thanks, I, I didn't know that. Sorry. <laughs> I'm yeah. with the company. You are Mr. Tylus. Longer than you've been born, probably. Probably. That went 172 at 60-something. So it was right at 170. Your spin was back down to 58, but now your landing angle is 49 because you're launching this one higher. Yeah, that's nice. These are nice, Ricky. I told you you'd like them. Back with Old Faithful.
sweet right there. I hit that as good as I've hit it for a while. They're not acting like they're that upright either. That's at even. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your your turf interaction's been great so far. So How do they feel? They feel awesome. And if you look at your numbers, this now your spin almost, is down, almost, your launch is up, but this you're landing is almost out. a solid product right here. Well, that was easy. Yeah. So as I go down to six, five, I'm still in this. So now, of course, what we have is we also have our T100S, which is gonna be engineered two degrees stronger. You're also gonna have a muscle channel, which is gonna help support the face and increase launch. Hold that right there. A lot of people say to me, oh, Elk, you play, you play PXG, and all it, all it does is they, is they take two degrees off of it and make it stronger. And I tell them, yes, they are two degrees stronger, but if I took my old original blades, tireless blades, and made them two degrees stronger, I would hit them just bullet low what the technology you're talking about, PXG started it to a certain extent, is they put a, a new way, you have a damper system and this power bar back here that makes it go up with the stronger loft. Yeah, so if you want to look at our T100S, we have a muscle channel on the back, is what we're calling it. Muscle sandal? Channel. Channel. <laughs> it could be a sandal if that's it could what you be a want. sandal. So you'll see. Is this what you got? Versus that's the regular T1. You're so not going to have that the, muscle this channel. This is the T1. And this is the S. That's the T100S. So this is a stronger looking. Two degrees stronger. So naturally, like you said, if you have you a club. But you get this anyway. Yep. You get that supported face, which is going to help with launch. Does this does this have the special bulky bottom like this? Or it does. Not? Yes, it, it does? does. So w why wouldn't everyone play this? It just looks... That's a good question. Um, a lot of people don't want stronger lofts, which now you consider modern lofts. Okay. So really it comes down to a fitting thing too. Let me, you let me assume... hit this just to say I did. Some people might, might need added distance, added launch. You, you necessarily get, don't need you, that, you but you that's why... more distance with this? Your ball speed will increase, yes. Okay. What was the ball speed just before that that one? So we'll just check it. 121. And what was it, the 7 on mine before that with the PXG? Right there, 122. So 122 ball speed with the PXG, 121 with the S1. The T100. T100, and now we'll see what this is. Yes. Hey, what? Oh, it's a little upright, but that's okay. Wow, that was different. So well, that was 123.6. So your ball speed compared to the other T100 is going to increase. Yeah, the reason is, is you're going to have more tungsten in this as well, which we have a D18 tungsten. What's which tungsten? Now we can what's tungsten? We've heard of tungsten spikes. What's tungsten? It's a metal. Yes. Is it's it a metal heavier? that we can use. Yes. Yeah, so we can move the weights around to the toe and the heel to help with ball speed launch and forgiveness. Okay, um, and so the, with the T100S, we're going to have a little bit more tungsten, around 90 grams, versus the T100, which is going to be 80 grams. Um, so that's where I you're also going to get that increase. Two miles an hour? You picked up three, almost three, four miles per hour. And what was the spin? Uh, the spin was 51. So that one was down a little bit. Too low. Yeah. I would say that was a slight miss hit for you. Yeah, I pulled it. So that was great. Your ball speed was back down just slightly, which the pool is going to help with all that as well, the one before that. Um, but your carry 176, total 183. Your spin was down 53, but your landing angle was at 50, 50 degrees, which if we look at launch compared to the T100s, your launch is increasing slightly, which is where you're seeing the benefit of the muscle channel. You're almost saying to me, my PXGs were a little out of control, like someone pulled a couple of tail feathers out of a dove. This one, is low spin too, but it's it's got the, sort of the correct landing angle. Because you're launching it better. Yeah. So there always is correlation between launch and spin. Any tour players play this? That is a good question. Um, no, so you'll see guys do they a speed. They don't want out of control clubs. No, no, I mean, nobody wants out of control clubs. Well, I don't, I'm, 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 I'm okay with a little bit out of control <laughs> if it's coming in at 50 degrees. <laughs> Nobody wants out of control. I gotta play with these guys back here. You know, these guys, big hitters. 
Um, Are you learning something in this? <laughs> yeah, this is good. Yeah. Okay, let me get one more of these, but I think there's another I think there's a big missile in this. That'd be standard right there. Like, I'd be happy with that shot. 75 carry? 70, 76, 77. Uh, landing angle 49. Uh, your ball speed 123. Your launch is up, like we said, because you're getting the benefit of the muscle channel. Your spin's muscle down sandals. slightly. Channel, not sandal. We could look, we could change it for you. It could be sandal for you. Uh, we could flip flop around, you know? So now we've come to the first decision we got to make today. Yes. Which one's better, TS1 or, or TS2? TS, no, sorry, T100S or T100. Now you have to ask yourself, again, the first, you the don't first, have a problem with launch. Hold on, the, the first one we hit was my favorite so far, right? That was the one we thought. Yes, the T100. Yeah. So now, what we'll do... This is a stronger model It's going to be your modern loss, which is similar to your PhDs. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll get you to hit your PXG one more time, hit those. We're going to hit the T100 with the same shaft, which we're playing X100s, and then we're going to try the T100S and X100s. What was that? What were those shafts? This was an X100, but you grabbed this one out of a bag, so it was a Project XLZ. That was nice too. 6.0. Is that softer than a? Than a, than a... Yes, X and lighter. Maybe that's what. It is. Seventy-two, seventy-three. You know your numbers. <laughs> you put a tour player on track, man. That's why I think that I think that a lot of people ask me on if if I was playing tour now, would I use this? And I, I've told everyone if I had this on tour now, I'd be nuts if I didn't have it because I could tell if my swing was a degree off, which way or the other. But what you have to have with this is you have to have someone to be able to move you back to where you need to be. And that's coaches and so on. But our generation, we didn't have that. So we would move our stuff pretty easily, get us back to hooking or fading. The combo is the key. Yeah, so the big thing today with technology and numbers is that it's all about getting fit properly for you. Yeah. And yeah. so that's what we want. We just want to make everybody a better golfer. I think um, the best feeling shaft has been that little bit lighter. Is that is that lighter? It is going to be lighter. The so almost ten grams lighter. The Project X. Mm -hmm. That was in the. This is back. That to was the, in the T one hundred. So now we're back in the T one hundred. Yeah. And we're in the same shaft. So we're just looking at completely performance head. So your ball speed, everything. There's not much variation in the... Between in the, that and your PXG, they're similar. So hit that one one more time and then we'll try the T100S. There's not much uh, swing movement. That was, that was really pure. So now what we're going to try is the so T100S. We, hold on, what do, we, what do we just look at there, that, compared to the PXG? Compared to the PXG. This is going, got to be going a little shorter because it's more loft. Well, you're hitting it almost the same distance because you're getting an increase in ball speed slightly with the T100. Okay. So now we're going to go to the T100S, which like we said, it's going to be engineered to be two degrees stronger. You're also going to have around 90 grams of tungsten, and then you're going to have a muscle channel, Sandal. which is going to help support the face yeah. to help with launch. Yeah. This club feels really good, man. 
So now, what we're seeing is you're getting. I missed that ahead. Let me hit one more. That was a miss. <laughs> Man, that's nice right there. Increased bowl speed or no? So that one dropped down slightly. Yeah, I, did. I missed it a hair. A hair. So hit one more point. Grip's not on right. <clears throat> got, got a flip out of the top here. Miss there. Miss there. Can you tell that you're getting an increase in launch just by looking oh, at yeah. your flight window? I can't quite tell which is better yet, the, the, that, that tireless or this tireless. What's the machine tell me? So if more, we look. You get it, Rex. More, I'll just stay here. More ball speed with this or not? Yes, your ball speed is increasing. So if we go from your PhD, we're at 119. I'm off then. I'm, we're I'm at not, 120. Yeah, I'm not worried about so that. So we go from that, then we go to the T100. We're at 120. Yeah. We're at around 18 launch. Then we go to the T100S. Now we're at 1820 launch, the one that you just said you hit gray, and your ball speed's 123. So you're getting an increase of three miles per hour ball speed, and your I, landing angle is at 50 degrees. I should be on this. Try I mean, it looks as good as the T100 the guys on tour are playing. So it's going to be identical to the T100, but like we said, it's going to be engineered to be two degrees stronger. Because if you have a club and you take away two degrees, naturally you would bring that launch down. Well, with the muscle channel and the supporting of the face, we're going to bring that launch up.